Hi, boys and girls. We are going to start a new chapter in math, and it's all about measurement. And um, I'm going to take this book to the post office, and I need to mail it to a friend. But I'm not going to be able to bring this book with me, so I need to figure out how I can know that this um, book is going to be able to fit into the box that I need. So if I don't have a measuring tape and I don't have a ruler, I need to figure out how I can do that. And so I'm going to measure this book up against my arm. And so that will give me a measurement of how wide and how tall this book is. So if I take this and I just put it up and I have it starting at my elbow right here, and I put it up right at the same time, I know that that book went up to about my wrist. Now, a box has two, like you have how wide it is and how long it is, so I also have to measure this side of the book. So now I know how long it is, but now I need to know how wide it is. And so I'm going to do that measurement as well. And so I'm going to put it right up against my elbow, and I know it's about right here. So now when I go to the post office, I can get a box and I'm going to measure it up with my arm. And as long as it is longer than where I measured the length and the width of the book, then I know that that box is going to be big enough to send my book to a friend. So you guys are starting measurements today and we're not going to get into rulers and measuring tapes just yet. We can measure with just about anything. So did you know that we can measure with our hand. And so when people measure horses, they measure how tall a horse is using their hands. They call it, that's how tall the, the horse is. When you measure using hands, you put your hand out like this, and then the next hand goes right on top of the other hand. Where my wrist starts is where I'm going to connect it to my, the tip of my other one. And then so I would count like this. One, two, and then I would keep going up three and measure how tall something is using my hands. Now, your hand is not going to be the same size as my hand. So if we measure the same thing, we may get different measurements because our hands are different sizes. And so it's a great way to measure, but it's not precise or what they call accurate, which means it's not going to be the exact answer that we need, but it'll give us an idea of how tall or how long something is. Another way that you can do it that's more accurate is using an object. So if I'm measuring a table, I could use something like around the house, like using straws. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to measure, maybe I'm measuring the length of the table. So I'm going to start right at the end of the table, and I'm going to measure using straws. And I'm going to go from one, and then my next straw can't be apart from it. It has to be touching. And then it would be two, and then I would put another straw and it would have to be touching three, and I would keep going until I got to the end of the table. Now some of my straws may, like maybe my table ends right here and the straw's a little bit longer, and that would just be as close as we can using straws. Um, today in your um, worksheet, one of it is you're going to read how long the objects are in the garden, and that's gonna be easy because you're gonna use cubes and you're gonna just count how many cubes is how long the things are in the garden. Now the back side of the page asks you to measure using cubes, but because you don't have cubes, I was thinking you could use objects around your house. You could use coins, like if I wanted to use pennies, I could measure up how tall something is using pennies. Now remember that if I am measuring using pennies, I put it one on top of the other. I can't have any spaces and I can't overlap, which means that I put one on top of the other. It has to actually be touching, but not going over and not being apart. I could also use something as simple as paper clips to measure something. So you guys get to choose how you're gonna measure on the back side of your worksheet today. Have fun with this project. If you want, you can go around and measure different things in your house. You can get out some straws and measure how long some tables are. You can measure how long your couch is. Just have fun with the, the math lesson today and I hope you guys have a great Monday.